the mission itself for GOES is incredibly exciting. The interesting thing is that we, we get to operate satellites. It's really satisfying to actually get to make it work and see it operate, to see the fruits of my labor. It's a very warm feeling once we get to the end of it, seeing that the satellite's providing data that actually saves lives. biggest form of contamination for the satellite is the human body. So what you have to do is you have to dress in a special suit. Um, this uh, jumpsuit protects you from uh, producing contamination. That can actually be very harmful to the satellite because if it gets on optics and you get on space, those optics can't be cleaned. Here we go. All ready to go into the airlock. And head into the clean room. We're in Titusville, Florida, which is where the test facility is, and this is the Gozo spacecraft behind me. We're getting it ready to be put onto the launch pad at Cape Canaveral in a few weeks to launch out in space. The satellite is built in El Segundo, California, in our satellite manufacturing facility and then we ship it out here on a plane. We have a special container we put it on a C-17 plane and we ship it to Florida. We need to make sure that everything operates on the satellite properly. We have to thoroughly test it, make sure it'll survive. So probably the biggest tests are our environmental tests. So vibration, we actually shake the satellite, just like it's gonna experience when it's launching. And then the biggest test is SCTV, which is where we put the spacecraft in a thermal vacuum chamber. So we pump it down to zero vacuum, and simulate the space environment. We have liftoff. Five. Liftoff. As we approach the launch date, we run through a series of tests to make sure that the satellite is healthy and to verify that all the personnel in the control center know exactly what they're supposed to do once the spacecraft is in orbit. This is the GOES Launch Control Center. This is the area, the center of activity for everything that happens once the GOES satellite is released from the rocket until it gets on orbit and through its on orbit activity for the first six months during which we check out the spacecraft and make sure it's certified for operations. Once the spacecraft is launched and it's going into its geostationary orbit, we use NASA ground antennas to communicate to space from this control center. These are the workstations that we use to operate the GOZO satellite. What these guys do, they're the first line of defense, performing all the commanding necessary to keep it safe. Okay, so what he's doing here is he's monitoring the, uh, the daily command schedule, uh, which consists of all of the commands necessary to take the images of the Earth. It is really the journey of, of going from the initial development of the satellite through the ability to be able to see the weather pictures on television that are taken from that satellite and see how well it's performing. It's, it's a great feeling. to work with stuff that goes into space. How cool is that?